Your desire is within reach, Leos. Have faith as everything is working out in your favor. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Vera Lynn and this is Spiritual Findings. Today we're going to be doing a tarot reading for the year 2020 for my lovely Leos. Alright guys, I have it sectioned out in different seasons here. I have winter, spring, summer, and fall. I don't know if you can see the gemstones that well on the camera, but that's how we're going to roll with it if you guys are watching in 2019 or if you're watching throughout 2020. I do have it sectioned off just so you guys can kind of skip through, you know, if you're coming in for summer. Alright guys, but let's get started. I'm going to read from the original Rider Waite deck here and I have a few Oracle decks as well. I did just pull a card from you guys for the fairies. So your desire is within reach. Alright guys, don't forget that. We're starting off. That's the first card. Okay, so some of y'all who are manifesting something, it's going to come through for 2020. Alright Leos, you've been putting in a lot of groundwork throughout the years. If it's regarding a relationship or, you know, figuring out some things yourself, soul searching before you really felt comfortable to move on to relationships. Because guys, it's really important that we love ourselves before reaching out. For some of you guys who are on the career side, because this reading is going to be a little bit vague, you guys should tune in for the other readings. I do monthly readings as well as live streams. If you guys want to hit that notification bell, you can get on a live stream and get yourself a free reading possibly. I love reaching out to everybody. If not, comment below. Tell me what's going on with your life. You know, I love reaching out to every one of you guys, hearing where you're from, what's, what's going on with your life, what's your calling. Shout out for some of you guys who are interested in reading tarot. I also have tarot studies. You can check out my other videos, my other enlightenment videos. Yeah, if you're getting on the spiritual path this year, Leos, this channel is just not geared towards tarot. All right, we're already starting off with winter with the Eight of Cups. That's great because you're just leaving some old stuff behind, you know, whether it's a toxic ex or old bad habits, spending habits, um, just really kind of leaving an, an old chapter in your life and starting a new one, if not just a new chapter. I like to say a whole new book, a whole new you. This is you really succeeding with your New Year resolutions. So you guys, please stay motivated all right I love this this card just is symbolizing that you are not going back to the old you there's new things coming for you and you're really going out there and seeking them you can see that he's on a voyage you know the terrain is a little bit rough in the background there's a mountain but he knows there's bigger and better things out there for him could he have settled with what's in front of him yeah yeah there's a pretty decent amount of gold cups there but you know what he's like no I know there's something better for me. And that's going to happen with you guys for this year. Just remember, you got to stick to it. You know, it would be really helpful for you guys to actually make a list. And don't just make it on your phone, guys. Do old-fashioned. Take a pen, a, pen, a piece of paper, write it down, and put it somewhere where you see every day. You know, whether it's where you get ready or somewhere that, you know, in your car or something at, at your cubicle. I don't know. Your journal. Just somewhere where you'll see it often. That way you could read through it and just remember what you really set out to do for 2020. All right? Bigger and better things. All right. For spring, you have the lover's card come up. For some of you guys who are single, yes, that definitely can mean that you're going to meet somebody for spring. For others who may be already happy with the relationship that they have, this is meeting like-minded friends, okay? Um, perhaps if you're taking on a new journey in enlightenment, meeting some new friends at a yoga class, a meditation class. Um, I mean, even get out there, do some crafting or pick up your paintbrush or start writing again, whatever it was that you like to do seek after it again Leo okay because you're gonna find some people in that circle of friends that's really gonna just inspire you and keep you going okay maybe that is what you set out for okay for winter you're setting out to meet these people as you can see he's literally walking towards the direction of the lovers all right and my Leo's for some of you who that might not have clicked maybe a Gemini is there a Gemini in your life? If not, um, you know, it could, it could be a lover, it could be a mother, it could be a friend. 
you know, um, if there's not a Gemini, perhaps you need to take on a messenger role, whether it's like writing for an article or, um, you know, some type of writing, getting out there, uh, public speaking, something, because Gemini is ruled by Mercury, and Mercury is the planet of communication, guys. So if there's something that you need to get on your soapbox for for the year 2020, don't be afraid to do it, okay? As long as it's done elegantly. I don't see why not. Interesting. Okay, so we have the Devil's card pop up for summer. Now, I know some of you guys are like, oh, oh okay. Well, you know what? I kind of see this as something very interesting. If I had to see it as any type of warning, which I don't see it as too much of a warning as much as a... Mm. Yeah, okay, so as the warning part, we'll just get to that because I know some of you guys are, might be sweating a little bit. Um, don't go back to the old habits, okay? Whether it was just eating bad, drinking too much, or, I, you know, I don't really know. You know, you know what it is. Don't go back to it. Don't let yourself be chained to those bad habits. Now, however, because this is right after... Like, look at these cards. Are they not, are they not similar? <laughs> so it's telling me, I feel like there's two phases, maybe, to a relationship. For some of you guys who are single, if you start a relationship with a Gemini, I would just watch out maybe through the summer. They're, um behaviors, things like that. For some of you guys who are doing the business side, I see it starting out as a friendship and then moving more towards, um, you know, somebody is definitely ooh, ooh, in higher command. Um, I, I, I just see this as so many different ways. I mean, you guys can probably yourselves just look at these photos and and, and just kind of be like, yeah, I think this is referring to something that I feel might be coming in 2020. Whether it's a relationship for some of you guys who married and perhaps on the way out the door with the marriage, this could be good and bad. <laughs> you know, this could be the divorce side of things. Um, for some of you guys, I do see maybe a passion perhaps taking you too far because sometimes when we make money off of our habit our habits our hobbies we develop habits hmm yeah not too good right all right so let's see this as also because there's so many ways to see this okay i also see it as a capricorn because the devil card does stand for capricorns Okay, so you also have to think about it that way, too. So you're going from Gemini to Capricorn. Okay, so there could be influences, those from different zodiacs. Maybe you need to take on these roles. Okay, um, like I said, the um, lover's card could be getting out, getting on your soapbox, writing articles, you know, writing into the newspaper, journalism. I don't really know, right? But with it moving to the lover's card, I feel like there is now money made off of it. You're kind of tied to a contract. Um, you know, it kind of may, might take the fun out of it, but perhaps like you just wanted to make a career. Maybe that's where you're going to start off with the beginning. Um, for instance, I am a photographer and I had to start out with the wedding side of things. And, you know, weddings are fun at first and things like that, but they get a little overwhelming. It's a very stressful environment, but it's where I had to start off with to really make my career. Okay, so maybe there's something along the line that you're going to feel, you know, maybe that it's representing that summer is going to be work, 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 work because of your passions. Okay, so you have to think about it that too, which is, you know, rewarding. Success does not come without sacrifice. So I would say maybe get ready to buckle down. All right. And that's, I feel, why we start off with the eight of cups because you've walked away with a lot that it opened up so many doors for you to find people that are like-minded and willing to, you know, seek your passions, um, open up new relationships, start partnerships, businesses, things like that. But you're gonna get tied down for summer. If it's not hinting towards a romance with a Capricorn, I do feel like you're gonna be tied down with business, okay? So try to make sure that you're taking care of yourself and you're really learning a different way of coping 
um, with stress and things like that for when the hustle and bustle do come. But this is what you want, you know? This is what you want. It's just the work that you weren't <laughs> looking forward to. This is the elbow grease, okay? All right. Let's see here. Ooh, whoa. All right. That's a really good sign. Look at that. You know what this is? This is the finances coming in, okay? This is a new home, a new residence. This is, you know, um, making renovations on your home, doing whatever it was that you wanted. <laughs> like, this is that opportunity coming for you. Um, you know, you, you put in the elbow grease and this is, this is, the, this is the reward that you're, you're reaping, okay? I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Ace of Pentacles, but pentacles obviously represent money materialistic items earthly items okay um, or spirits things like that now as you can see this is a gift from the spirits this is a opportunity that is not given on a daily monthly basis so you're going to be really getting some new opportunities come fall and I would be excited for that okay and that's why we're sacrificing so much and that's why we're making sure that we're sticking around people who keep us inspired through those rough times okay and that we have walked away from that we needed to in order to get there as you can see this guy has been just walking to the right he's walking throughout the whole thing he's walking walking to the lover's card and he's walking through he's walking through all the way to the ace of pentacles you got to look at the body language with everything that's going on in these cards and i see that you're really conquering a lot um congratulations leo honestly like you gotta stick to it and you're gonna get there what you've been dreaming for the past couple years the past half decade whole decade i don't even know leo your whole life you're gearing it you're gearing around the corner to it okay but like i said you can't give up you got to keep at it you got to keep through it you got to keep sticking to your goals all right you got to be like ball and chain to your goals wherever you go your goals go Okay, I'll make sure it obviously doesn't get in the way of your health, your family, and it's all done in good karma, right? You don't have to be out there wheeling and dealing to get what you want, right? Because all in the end, that's not going to get you there. You gotta, it's got to all be done in good karma, right? All right, guys, I think this is an amazing reading right here from the original Rider Waite. I'm going to pull a card from the Oracle, Vintage Wisdom Oracle card. Now, for some of my Leos out there, if you guys are interested in reading tarot, I do have a deck review video that I'll probably have linked um, after this video. When the video is done playing, I'll have, I'll have it posted. But I go through all of, mm, not all of them, but a lot of my decks. So if any of you guys are interested, but you're not quite sure that if you want to go the original Rider Waite, because it can be kind of intimidating, check it out. I have other videos. I go through all my different cards, tell you a little bit about them. And, um, ooh, okay. Centering. Very serious. Centering. I'm getting a vibe that you guys need to come back to home base, all right? In your mind, come back to home base. Okay, that's what this year is about. In the end, what's your long-term plan? What are we seeking? What are we going after? We're center, centering back to our goals, okay? We're being focused. It's not so much about pleasure and fun this year, Leo's. It's about getting it done, okay? It's about getting it done. Because we want those rewards, all right? So we're going to push back the play a little bit. Not that we're pushing back self-care, okay? If you enjoy your spa day or doing meditation, yoga, drinking tea, you know, taking some time for yourself, still do it, okay? Still do it. That's not what I mean by centering. But there's going to be some other things that we need to sacrifice. I love these cards. Okay, she's a butterfly too, which tells me that there's going to be some strong transformation. Okay, and it looks like she is holding honeysickles too. 
So it's not that this year won't be sweet, okay? It's just going to be a lot of different, and it's going to be busy, very busy. All right? Okay, so for everybody else this year, I've been giving a spirit animal. It's another thing that you guys can uh, look also on the channel about spirit animals. You know, you, could, uh, you guys can have a spirit animal for a week, a month, a year, a lifetime. But uh, we're going to get one here for 2020. What inspiration do we need, you know, to jump into it for the whole year? Let's see. For my Leos for 2020. All right. Walrus. Remain vigilant about current about the current situation. Pay attention to signs, omens, and let them dictate your choices. Nice. All right. I'll show you this card here. So remember what's important. I don't think this card, you know, <laughs> it doesn't go against anything that I've said. It's the one thing I love about reading tarot and pulling from different decks and things like that. It's very good. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I'm hungry. All right, early morning for me, and I'm sorry my voice is real raspy. It's early morning, and I've been sick for, oh, geez, since the beginning of November, I think. So <clears throat> I tried to clean up my voice for you, but we're towards the end of this reading. Almost 20 minutes of talking. Yeah, give me a thumbs up and subscribe, guys. <laughs> This is some hard work, but I do love my Leos. I love in the spirit community here. All right, so it says, pay attention to the signs and the omens and let them dictate your choices. Now, these two cards, I feel like, do play a big role in this reading because it's just back to back. You don't get these cards back to back these often. And you can see how similar they are. And you can see that there is a guidance from above. All right, just because it's the devil, I'm telling you, don't be afraid of that card, guys, okay? Um... Call on your ancestors, your spirits, okay? Call on the people that you need to get help from, your angels, your guides, God, whoever you speak to, call on them, okay? You're going to need their help, and don't feel like you're being selfish trying to, okay? Like I said, if everything's done in light and love and good karma, call on them. They would be happy to join you. Okay, whether it's a relative who's passed, or you have an archangel, or you have a guide, spirit animal, okay, call on the walrus. He'll keep you vigilant about your current situation. <laughs> Gotta think how strong, how strong they are. I don't think anybody would really want, want to run across a, wi a, wal a, wi a walrus in the wild. I mean, come on, that's a little intimidating, right? So you guys are like the lion walrus, all right? Get the heck out of your way. You're handling business. All right, guys, this sums up our reading for 2020. I hope to see you guys a part of the community. Like I said, I have lots of other videos, not just about tarot, but about spiritual studies, reading tarot, um, how to, if some of you guys are interested and some other enlightenment videos all right thanks for tuning in guys you guys have a wonderful 2020.